Stu, man, we've completed it. We've completed it. We completed the whole challenge. Complete it. Complete it, Roy. Shut up. Shut up. I'm interrupting you. Oh, except for that one. Yeah, well, because that ain't available. We've completed it. So, we've got enough tokens for one and a half pints. So, we might be able to scrounge the extra half pint. So, we can go. What would you go for? What was your favourite? Because Tide are those two. The Suffolk Punch. And the Sullivan's Reserve. Yeah. I think this was my best one. Was it? Malden okay. Suffolk Punch, 4.8 from Sudbury. That was, that was a lovely drink. But a classic I've best bit, it was I've got to push mine back to this one, I think. Yeah. So that was the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your Beckles so, Brew, I, I gave that a nine. Sky. I did like that. So it's a lighter, it's not a bitter. It's more of a... It's an IPA, basically. But it, yeah. No, no, come on, Roy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. The, pro the problem is, I feel a bit bad. I wish we'd been able to do it in thirds. Or even if we'd had one other person, because then we could have done it, all four of us, together the challenge. Yeah. But he went off... Yeah. Whoops! Right, so, Stu went off in the middle of the afternoon, as did I. Yeah. We should have done this together. Next time, Oktoberfest, we'll do it. We'll get one other... We'll get Jay, and we'll do yeah, this, yeah? yeah. So, what's your favourite so far? My favourite so far is uh, quite a few really, but if my type of drink is with the light drinks. I back up the uh, the Beckles Brew, the okay, that's Sky right. IPA. So that's the same as Stu then? Yeah. I want to find out a bit more about it. What is the collaboration? We need to find that out. We can do. That we can do. Yeah. We've done it. you got a what? Yeah. Get down here. Yeah. Why do I won't come? Complete it. And now, we're going for some more. So, my favourite by far was Suffolk Punch. I'm having that. And yours was the Beckley's Brew Company XC327 yeah, Beautiful Sky PA, Pale Ale. I need to find out what the collaboration is. Well, we're going to ask the Toby that. Yeah. Okay. But I need to find out a bit more about it. What is the actual the collaboration of local legends? What is that? Well, the collaboration's with a band. So, uh, you know, most musicians like a beer or two, so they've gone around for the day and they've brewed a beer with it. So, what the brewery will have done is ask the band what's their sort of style, what they like, and um, yeah, come up, then the brewery will have come up with a recipe. So, okay. um, so this uh, see through, I think they're called C327. Yeah, they're a local band, I think, Monkey Beckles Way. Oh, so that's the name of the band. That's the name of the band. Yeah, makes sense. So we'll have to look out for them. Yeah, absolutely. We do. So blonde session IPA, the blonde cup, basically means there's a little bit of wheat brewed in there. Right. So that gives it that nice sort of. Some people think it's nice, but that little spiciness, like yep, a little yeah, bit no, of uh, coriander. Yep. Oh yeah. A bit like a left face, something like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's, it's great. Did you see we've braided them all over? We've we've done it. We've What's completed it. The whole thing. Sir Toby, we yeah. take your hat off to you. We are now <laughs> your valiant knights. Well, you know. So I wish I had a badge for someone that had all the beers. No, we'll have, we'll have a free pint. I'm sure that was it. <laughs> so tell me about Suffolk Punch because that was my favourite. Well, Morgan's a uh, you know fantastic brewery. Um, the Suffolk Punch. There. Best bitter with a dry finish, well, absolutely. So uh, it's uh, all about that little bit of sweetness from the malt, but the dry finish again will just be the hops that they've used. So okay. they're probably grown in the UK, it just means that they're not that really fruity, sort of uh, citrusy style hop. You know, they're just all about that yeah. bitter taste. So, so this is more your taste, mine's more the fruity taste. So. Absolutely, yeah. because it's all about taste. Yeah, exactly. It's all about personal preference, isn't it? As you can see, we, we've scored them individually, we've also got the combined score. So the highest combined yeah, scores exactly. actually the Suffolk Punch and for us one the special oh, one well, uh, he's going to be pleased isn't he yeah. 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 he'll be he's pleased with that we'll get the cake. <laughs> yeah well he will see it on the video oh, yeah. I'm sure so we've had a lovely time actually yeah. it's been really good congratulations for being with us. thank you very much thank you very much and we're yeah, still midday as well and we're still I know yeah. midday hello yeah. Poppy you're right. Yeah. here's Poppy yeah. oh it's very good we've completed it Without the use of any crustaceans. So, no crustaceans oh, yeah. been harmed oh, yeah. in this. Yeah. 
That's very good point. Yeah. I think I'm struggling to catch a whelp right now. But anyway, Poppy, would you be so kind as to serve us, please? Yes. We would like a a Beckles Brew Company for Stu. Yep. Oh, what's And a uh, and a uh, and a. Uh, we are out of that. I will give Whoa. you a step. Oh, I know it's been a busy day. That's bad. Well, I'll have a soft punch, please, if I may. I thought we were busy. So we've got this updated menu. No! That's, that's a, a big really, problem. Should we score everything? Really busy, that was no. That's school. Yes. Maybe we should have come here before breakfast instead of just oh, after. So what are we going to go for? Stuffing Punch is actually high, one of our joint high schools. I'm going for Stuffing Punch. Well maybe, well, maybe we should have two points of that then instead. Because that was quite high for me. Yeah. Two Suffolk punch, please. Two Suffolk punch, please. Now, the problem is... Oh, no. He said that's all right. But I can identify the tooth on your neck has been from a tiger shark. Galio Cerdo Cuvieri. <laughs> You're impressed, aren't you? Very impressed. Ask a diver and an ichthyologist. Galio Cerdo Cuvieri is a tiger shark. completely the A-list. Fantastic. That is impressive. Yeah. I could even spell it. Yeah, but you could have made it up. I wouldn't know. Right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to write it down, and you're going to Google it. <laughs> Galio Cerdo Cuvieri. Tiger Shark. Okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Impressive. Look at that. He's impressed. Imagine what he can do without the drink. I know, exactly. That's brilliant. So clearly, the eye that I thought on the end should be an exclamation mark. There we are. Two points. Bless your heart, Bobby. Thank you very much. Your turn now, Emma. Yeah. So what are you going to play for us? Uh, we're going to start off with maybe a bit of like 90s chip pop. I want to hear Eloise. Oh, well, maybe tomorrow. It's a very good song. I named my daughter after it. My daughter's name, Eloise. Eloise by the damned. I don't want Paul and Barry right. We'll have a lovely time. Cheers. Right, so now we're on the Mould and Suffolk Punch to finish off with our pint. Yeah, Brilliant. Joint high scores. Joint high score of 17 and a half. Very nice. Well, there's a bit of a bit of dissent here. What are you on about? Mike? Yeah, the orange wheat. I haven't had it for years. They right. told me they're now using our, uh, the pip again now to do the brew. But I'm not sure. It's a long while ago since I've had it, and I'm not sure whether they are using it. So I've had to go middle of the road on uh, rec- uh, recognising it. As middle of the road. Five out of ten, I'll give it. Five out of ten. You want marmalades in? What's this bad news? My bad news is I need to get home now. I'm failing, I'm failing. He's failing, he's actually getting off of the lift, which is why. So, we'll be sorry to lose you. There's only another few hours to go. However, you were here right the way through. So you're going to complete it tomorrow. So where are you up to, Roy? Let's have a look. Depends what ale they got tomorrow. Well, they've run out of a few. You've done. You've done over half because I think four are now lot knocks out. Very good, Roy. 
It's been a pleasure. I can't hear a damn thing. And nor can my fans. But we've had a brilliant night. We've had a great patch up. Absolutely. And I hope to see him again tomorrow so we can enjoy the family as well. Absolutely. See you later, buddy. So I'm staying, but this is our closing piece. It's not a lovely day. Lovely day. You like the gin, do you girls? You like the gin? Hey, now there you go. I didn't expect that for you two, but we've got a nice bit of gin right at the end. Really good. Good. So you're not here for the beer, you're here for the gin. Well, what have we got? Look at that. Yeah, I will already have. Whenever everyone else get up, I'll be dancing. Excellent. Put me up for it, as long as everyone else is up. Go and have a chat with Emma, the DJ. Ask what you want to play. So the sun's going down. You've been here since nine. It's now, well, that's 12 hours. So. Tell me, what do you think of the day? How's the day gone from your perspective? It's been really good. It's been uh, busy. Everyone's been having a lovely time. We've sold lots of beer. Food. Sold a ridiculous amount of beer. They're nearly out on most. They're having a really, really lovely time. It's been lovely. And for me, it's time to go home. Yeah. Let's go. So we're done now. And I'm going home. All done. All complete. Got a lovely, lovely little sunrise behind. So the beer fest is an absolute success. Wurzel has, uh, has enjoyed his day here. We're going home. So uh, from me, it's good night. Well done, you lot. Absolutely brilliant.